Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. We are still talking about amplifiers. We talked about this operational amplifier. Today we want to have some other type of amplifiers or how we can distinguish between amplifiers, what are usual names for amplifiers and so on. Uh, well, there are a number of them. And one is the so-called AC amplifier, alternating current amplifier. This AC amplifier, this has some inductive, usually inductive coupling at the input. Yeah? So we have an inductive coupling. At the input. Yeah? So DC parts. will not be transmitted. So we have a lower and an upper cutoff frequency, limit frequency. This is an AC amplifier. AC amplifier only only gain AC signals. DC signals will be, there is a lower cutoff frequency. And then we have DC amplifiers. They have a um, galvanic coupling. They have galvanic coupling. This means the lower cutoff frequency is zero. So these are also uh, gaining DC signals. They're also gaining AC signals. Usually the upper cutoff frequency is a little bit lower than an AC amplifier, but well, one thing we know is differential amplifier. This is like the operation amplifier. It's two inputs only the difference is amplified. not the absolute value. So only the difference between the, between the two input signals. This is called differential amplifier. Yeah? And then we have something which sounds a little bit hmm, strange, isolating amplifier. Isolating amplifier, what's that? An isolating amplifier separates the input from the output galvanically. Yeah? Galvanic separation between in and output. So there is no connection yeah other than logic yeah there is no wire or something coming from the input to the output this is also it can be used for instance there are there are amplifiers out there with a gain factor of one this is just pure for isolating yeah isolating the external world to our internal cubicle world or something like this isolating amplifier yeah? to separate two worlds galvanically then we have charge amplifier. There the input is not a voltage but charges. Yeah. Input, 
are electrical charges. Where is the difference? Well, charges are usually very few. Okay, there are only a few charges, and so those charge amplifiers they have a huge in input resistance. Yeah, so there, there are no charges passing through the the amplifier. It's really like counting the charges. Yeah, so this is called a charge amplifier. Yeah, in example for piezo. electric sensors. That's piezoelectric effect. If you bend an, an crystal, yeah, you see charges at the surface. Yeah? And this, if you measure this with a normal normal voltage amplifier, they will just disappear. You cannot measure. Yeah? You need, we need there a charge amplifier with special designed inputs and so on. Charge amplifier. And then we have a bridge amplifier. This bridge amplifier is special designed for working with the Wheatstone bridge. Yeah. What a Wheatstone bridge is, we will also discuss later. Yeah. Works with a Wheatstone bridge measurement. Yeah, so these are the types of amplifiers which are out there. All right. Now we have the amplifier. We have some amplified signal or something like, not something like. We have some amplified signal. Yeah. Next time we're going to discuss how we can connect sensors. Usually sensors nowadays have this amplifier built in. Yeah. If you buy a level sensor, if you buy a pressure sensor or something like this the output is already some impressed signal in with limits. Yeah? So there is a current output, there is usually a minimum load or something like this. Uh, but you know how to connect those sensors? Yeah? There are different possibilities in how to connect sensors. We will discuss this in next video. For this time Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.